To back up your receptor's hard drive, you'll need to buy an external hard drive that is USB powered and is at least the same or greater size than the internal hard drive. Connect it to the back of the hard drive and make sure that it is lit up. First, hit the setup button on the front panel of your receptor, then scroll with the top encoder knob until you reach support tools. Select support tools by pushing in on the encoder knob. Once support tools has started, scroll again with the top encoder knob. Scroll until you reach utilities, then use the bottom encoder knob to enter the backup slash restore mode. It'll ask you if you'd like to continue. Use the bottom encoder knob and select yes. The receptor will now enter the backup mode. This may take a few seconds to start up, so give it some time. Now that the receptor has finished booting into the backup mode, scroll with the bottom encoder knob and you can see three different options. One, to create an initial backup. Two, a normal backup or three to quit. We're gonna create an initial backup. So select it with the encoder knob and then again hit yes to select. It's gonna inform you that everything on this hard drive will be deleted. Hit yes if you'd like to continue. Otherwise, make sure that you get everything off of the external hard drive that you need. At no point in this operation should you ever turn off the power of your receptor. This could cause the hard drive to become corrupt, including your internal drive. Though it is unlikely, it is still possible. This next step is going to take quite a while. So feel free to take a good break and come back to your receptor. You may have to leave it overnight as this process can take a long time depending on the size of your hard drive. Throughout the process, the receptor's LED screen will inform you as to what it is doing. The last step in the backup process is syncing files. It will start counting down from all the files that are on the receptor that need to be backed up. This could be in the thousands, hundreds of thousands, and possibly more depending on how many files you have on there.